And in case you haven't seen this much tin foil in one place before, that's what that looks like. Okay, I've given up on this stuff. It's simply going to take too much of it and it won't do a good enough job. So, I've gone ahead and gotten some lightweight uh, spray adhesive in the form of an Elmer's glue and I've read the instructions. Okay, I'm sitting in my office. Day two of the aluminum foil, uh, actually the lap, the wall size laptop LED screen. This is my office. I've totally trashed it. I don't know how much of this you can see, but um, it's pretty bad. But I do have beautiful light surrounding this what will now be a large screen and now uh, next comes the wrapping the the what's called the diffuser it looks like this okay and that's going to diffuse the light so that the three bulbs are spread um, along a much larger area and that'll serve me well for, for then mounting the green screen what's happening okay so there's the finished product I've got the light director or baffle or whatever you want to call it trimmed in on the side so that the light doesn't escape forward. It, it's forced to ricochet off of that siding and hopefully send it out here. And, and, and frankly, it would be invisible to us. So I'm hoping now that the uh, that the, the wax paper, so to speak, on the outside captures that light and makes visible something that I don't even see currently. We're gonna see how that goes, that's next. This is the slip and slide, serve as a light barrier. I'd ideally like to see this puppy light up once it hits the wall. All right, well I had all this plastic up on the wall and it looked pretty cool, but I had to tear it all down because the, the staples are pulling holes in the sides of this plastic when I try to pull it tight. So with the aid of my son, the improved version is going to be to staple it to this piece of wood, then wrap it around like so, and then adhere that to the top as one long strip, and that way I'll be able to pull against it. Okay, all the light you see right there is coming from the screen, and so that perimeter looks like it's lit pretty well and it really doesn't look like enough light but the fact that it's lighting up the whole room tells me that there is a lot of light emanating from that screen so I think it's headed in the right direction well here's my office and green screen is up and it didn't do the job it was a total fail but unfortunately, that's what it took. I was looking for a perfectly even shade of green across this thing, and I've got shadows and whatnot, and it just isn't gonna be right. So, that was a lesson. And this is, now I, I've gotta get my office back and uh, prepare for round two of how the hell to get this green screen the way I think it ought to be. This is all related to the project. Uh, people that know me have heard me say that the price of knowledge is time. And uh, I would like to add the price of knowledge is time and trying. And uh, failure is an unnecessary byproduct of that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Remember earlier in the video, we talked about these roof panels. Well, it's time to put these to the test.